episode of Monday Motivation with me, Coach Lou. Uh, hopefully, I am your life coach, and you tune in every Monday morning to step up and check out what we have to offer to help you make your life better and help you make the people around you's lives better. Good morning, honey. You know, this is a real key factor in the whole process of what we're doing is not only to enhance your life, your motivation, your business, your family, your, you know, it's to really enhance our world and to make it a better place every day. You know, are we going to cure all the world's woes? No, because not everybody's as enlightened as they're not everybody's getting it quite the same as you guys who are tuning into this, quite the same as us that are tuned into coaching and, you know, self-awareness and spiritual and a great connection to God. But you know what? The more you live an example like this, the better it becomes for everybody. So what I'm coming to talk to you about this morning is H1. This is a huge, huge package. What inspired me was when Ford came up with, uh, you know, what is it? Um, quality is job one. So that's what inspired this. But you know what? Health is H1. The most important part of any equation in whatever you're doing is your health. You know, no matter what you, how great a business person you are, how great a parent you are, how great you are at anything you do outside of your health realm, if you don't have your health and you're not able to maximize what you're doing, you're screwed. You know, health and energy, and energy is the best byproduct of health. It is great to look in the mirror and go, oh, I look younger than I uh, than my chronological age, or, you know, look at my muscles, or look at how lean I've gotten, or look at my beautiful smile, or this natural gorgeous hair, or whatever it is that you see in the mirror. But it's the energy that comes from H1 that is really the important thing. Now, is this H1 a miracle product or anything like that? No. It is the whole ball of wax. It's health number one. It's just that simple. There's no magic uh, creation or magic formula. It is simply a concept to help you understand and then use that motivation and drive. Your H1 is your drive and your motivation to make health number one. There are tons of tools out there. There are tons of great exercise programs. There's tons of great dietary lifestyles. There are tons of uh, great supplements. There's some that suck. What I'm going to do is help you to, you know, decipher in our journey what it is that works for you. Everybody is what we call bio-individual. What I may eat one day that gives me the greatest energy in the world and really works for me and is an amazing supplement or food might kill somebody else, um, you know, and, and I hate to use peanuts for an example. So let's use almonds because peanuts aren't good for anybody in any capacity, whether you're allergic to them or not. They are not conducive for human consumption. So let's use almonds, which can be a really great uh, item for human consumption. So you, you eat almonds and most people find they energize you, especially if they're raw sprouted. You don't want to, you know, go to the store and buy the ones with salt and all the garbage and, you know, they've been baked to death. But anyhow, going on that concept, what might be nourishing for one person's body, if another person's allergic to almonds and has a severe allergy, they could die from it. So this is where I'm going with the bio-individuality. Everybody is different. So you've got to find your own roadmap to your health and energy, your H1 is unique. Now there are some basic rules that are gonna go along with um, anybody's H1 plan. And that is, you know, the fresh, raw, clean, organic, uh, toxin-free, mold-free types of foods, et cetera, you know, are always gonna be the best choice. Certain foods within those groups may not work for each individual. One, like I say, one, it may be, you know, totally beneficial for the body. Another one, it could kill them because of a food allergy. So, you know, when we do this, it's not here, I'm going to put you on a diet. When we talk about the dietary side of it, we go with some basic dietary rules. And then we go from there to figure out, you know, what it is that is actually your um, 
combination, your H1 plan. So what it is in a nutshell, H1 is that you cannot maximize. You can get through anything in life. You can still own a business. You can still be a parent if your energy level sucks. But can you be the best business owner, parent, spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it is, athlete, if your energy level sucks? Heck no, guys. Honest to God, answer there, that is no. I don't care how much mind power we put behind it. After a while, you're going to burn out if you don't have the physical vibrancy to follow through. So would you agree? Can I get thumbs up, love, hearts, jumping up and down? about that your health has got to be number one. Let's hear, chime in on this, guys. I want your feedback on this. Is this valuable to you? So remember, anything important requires energy. What are the components of H1? Number one is healthy eating. Clean up that dietary. You can't tell me, oh, I drink diet soda, so I'm doing good for my body, you know, because it has zero calories. You're poisoning yourself. Can't say it any straighter than that. If you drink coffee and you go to Starbucks and you get a sugar-loaded schmoka mocha um, with a non-organic coffee, you're poisoning your body. You're dumping a bunch of acid in there. Okay, not saying, I, I guess what, I love Starbucks. You know, I got to tell you, once in a great while, I go have a Starbucks and I enjoy it. And that comes into where we talk about the fun and our, and our side of this. But as a norm. My coffee in the morning is organic. I add turmeric powder. I add some uh, mushroom powder to it. I know you're going, ew. No, you don't even taste it, barely. Um, we add brain octane oil to it. And everything comes together. And I froth the uh, almond milk so that it's like a cappuccino. It's delicious. But the point being with that is that's nourishing my body. Coffee in its purest, when it's organic, is amazing for the body. Antioxidants, it, uh, it's a vasodilator, gets your blood flowing, opens up the arterial uh, blood flow. So it's great, but I'm not going to go into each and everything. You know, we'd be here doing a healthy eating and lifestyle seminar. You'd be sitting here with me for three hours this morning. But what I do want to touch upon is that proper clean eating is going to be important. Does that mean you eat tofu and, you know, become a certain atarian and title yourself that? Not necessarily. There are some basic food rules, and we're going to go over a lot of this stuff because May, by the way, is going to be H1 month. We're going to really dedicate, and please give me your feedback on that, to really dedicate to pushing through the month of May to cover all this H1. So going into summer, you go in with that energy and vibrancy. Number two, proper exercise. Yes, the E word. We covered the F word, food. Uh, the E word. It is important, absolutely important to exercise. You cannot, cannot be at your maximum. You cannot be as healthy as you possibly can be if you can't exercise. Now, some people tell me, well, I have some physical infirmities. I can't exercise. Yes, you can. You just adjust the type of exercise you do to your body's needs. Now, elevating the heart rate is important. It strengthens your cardiovascular system. It strengthens your blood flow. And when you get more oxygen to cells, they're healthier. There's countless studies and research about cancer loves a low oxygen environment. Not a doctor. I'm not telling you from, you know, I'm not a surgeon. I didn't go to medical school. The research is out there. Everybody, everybody almost totally agrees that you know, cancer thrives in a low oxygen environment and a high acid environment. So those are two things that you can do. Well, you, you know, if you never touch acid and you never and you're always in a high oxygen environment, does it mean you won't get cancer? No, we can't promise that. Can I tell you that research shows that your chances would probably go way down? Yes. Are we going to err on the side of prevention? Heck yes. Why would you not? It's right here. We're going to lay this all out to you. It's right in front of you. It's everywhere. Now, does it mean you take the newest and you know coolest supplement that's advertised all over the internet? Not necessarily. Maybe some supplements are really good. Um, not here to talk to you about you know getting you to join a supplement program. You know, a lot of these, a lot of video you're seeing these days. You know, people get you all excited and hyped up, give you some quality information. 
tell you about stuff like, you know, apple cider vinegar, even though it's acidic, we'll talk about that too, and its benefits. But then they tell you, well, that's not the best way. And my supplement is the best way. So if you see where I'm going with this, it's we're not going to sell you a supplement at the end of this. Proper rest. I, for years, have been, the, oh, I can make it on four hours sleep a night, da, da, da. Not, not enough, but rather than just discussing how many hours, and eight hours is a fallacy, it's actually not a good sleep cycle to wake up in. We're going to talk about getting different sleep cycles, how you wake up in the right cycle, why you can sleep a little bit less, sometimes feel better, and sometimes you sleep more and feel like crap. There's scientific reasons behind that, and that's what's really cool. And that will teach you a little bit about uh, sleep hygiene. How do you get the best sleep? What do you, how do you set yourself up to win when it comes to that? Because let me tell you, that is one of the biggest plagues on America right now, worldwide, actually. Proper hydration. Are you getting enough? What quality of waters are you consuming? Where else, what foods can you get You know, hydration from? Um, we're going to spend a lot of time in May on this stuff, and we're going to really jump into it and dig into it because this is important. All right, stress reduction. We live in a stress world. Don't turn the news on in the morning. You'll immediately be stressed out. Don't drive on I-4 or 95 or I-10 or I-12, whatever your I is in your area. You probably have some backups um, unless you're way out in the, the country. Then you have other issues. You might have road flooding or, you know, elk in the road. You know, these are things, there's going to be stress no matter what. But the cool thing is the excitement and stress are parallel. Okay, physiologically, they have the same little storm of adrenaline, etc. in your body. The difference is stress has a negative connotation, a weight to it, where excitement has the positive very similar physiological response. So here's where your psychological mind-body plays into this a little bit. Proper breathing. Are you breathing into the lower diaphragm? Are you using your diaphragm to suck air in and expel your carbon dioxide and your toxins? Or are you chest breathing because you're stressed out all the time? You see how this is all kind of fitting together here, right? And last but not least, fun an hour and hour and some Good old gut-busting laughter. You need something inspirational. You need some laughter. And last night, I'm going to give you a really good, and I'm going to give a shout-out to those guys, uh, the two cello guys. We went to see them. Well, amazing musicians. Amazing light show. Just all the way around. And, you know, their twist on a lot of really popular music was really freaking cool. They've added a drummer on, which is even cooler. Really, really tied it all together. But the thing was, is they had a lot of underlying humor in a performance that you wouldn't expect it, but made people laugh a lot. And that enhanced the experience, but also enhances your emotions. When you can laugh, it helps. It releases some of the best endorphins, etc. But, you know, it's a whole topic, too. So some days I'm not in the best of moods to go do what I got to do on a certain morning. I may be in a mood. It might be traffic. I may, you know, there might be, you know, other factions, things you got to deal with. What I've found, and I'll give you a little shortcut, and YouTube is awesome for this. They have like the news bloopers and stuff. If I'm really kind of in a pissy mood or I'm just kind of really dragging butt or I really don't feel like doing something and I need to show up with energy... I put those on for 10, 15 minutes on the ride in, and once I'm giggling and laughing, my whole day changes. The way I treat other people, the way I perform, changes from that laughter, because it's cool. So these are things that are really awesome. So month of May, focus is going to be on H1. Today's a little different. Um, I'm kind of just giving you some basics. It may only be live. There's not a training video per se to go with today. It's a little bit of post on the, you know, eating post on the site. But jump into it. Go back. If this is your first time out with us, go back and do all the Monday Motivation series because they build upon each other. All right, so May we're going into the H1. I'd love to jump into it right now because this is a serious passion of the heart for me. But... I already committed the rest of April. 
to a couple of different uh, topics. Next week, we're going to be understanding your, talking about understanding your team and how it can make or break you. This is important. That team can be at work, it can be in your business, it can be your family, it can be your co-workers, it can be your sports team that you work with, your workout family, your motivation family, it could be Uncle Louie family. You know, I'm kidding. But just saying, your team can make or break you and how do you work with that team? Because some of that team, you're, you're given. Your family, you're given. But let me tell you something, when it comes to the people that you spend the time with and that you allow to influence who you are, you know, I've heard it very wisely put that you are given your family, but you choose your peers. Love your family, spend time with your peers. If your family members, if you have family members that drain you, you can't stay in that position and go, well, you know, they're family. You can love them, you can help them, guide them, coach them, distance them if they're taking away from you. Doesn't mean you totally dis disregard their your family, but you can't let that destroy you or your family unit. Same thing with friends. Doesn't matter if you've been friends for 25 years. If somebody takes you down, if you know you can't, you, you're trying to get away from alcohol, and this friend, if the only time you you you, you can get together is if it's involving alcohol. You're going to have to cut some ties. Doesn't mean you don't love your friend. Doesn't mean you don't pick up the phone and talk once in a while. But if you're having a problem with drinking or smoking and every time you're around them, it, it's that's all it's all about. And you need to get away from it. You get away from it. Okay, so team is important. Now, one of two things can happen if there's a negative team member. You help them pull them up and help them grow or you distance. Just that simple. Take the lead or cut the chain. So that's going to be next week. Uh, week after that, it's going to be balancing it all out, what we've been talking about. And then we're going to kick ass right into H1 for May. So let me know any questions. Please connect with me, message me, email me. Uh, come to the site and send me some you know questions that you would like to address around health and wellness and fitness, etc. So that I can get them into the show. Looking forward to connecting with everybody. Have an amazing, amazing start to this week, guys. Really, really, really enjoy spending the time with you. We really want to grow this even more. And there's some cool stuff on the horizon. Uh, quick, quick, quick note. Um, I don't know if any of you have had the opportunity to meet our new trainer and coach here at Revitalize Life, Amanda Chastain. I will also be publishing her post on meditation. She's written a post on meditation for you. And so watch the blog for that. That'll be coming out in the next day or so. And we are just about ready to close off for the day because I like to keep these under 20 minutes for you so that you can do these on the ride in or once you get into the office uh, or if you're working from home so that we can get your day pumped up, ready to go, started. And by all means, live with energy, passion, and you know the drill. Always live your dream. This is Coach Lou. RevitalizeLife.com is the website. And you can always reach out to us at the studio here in Longwood, 321-765-3481. Have an amazing day, guys. We will talk soon.